the disciples devoted themselves with one accord to prayer with the women and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and his brethren. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Welcome to Mass. This is the penultimate day of Eastertide this year, and we look forward to the gifts of the Holy Spirit coming at the Feast of Pentecost. Uh, it's our Walsingham Cell Mass today, and there is some business to discuss, so please come back to the Vicarage after Mass for some coffee. We're also here today to remember Claire Day, to give thanks for her life and to pray for the repose of her soul. And at the end of Mass today, I'm going to dedicate that beautiful plinth, which has been made by a local joiner who has made things in the past for Wells Cathedral and Exeter Cathedral. It's something of great beauty. I've been praying for it to arrive for about a year uh, since the sacrament house came with me when I was uh, licensed as parish priest. So we're very grateful to her family for providing this necessary but also ornamental piece of furniture for our church. So thank you so much indeed. And we link it with our prayers for Claire. At the beginning of the Eucharist, when we come into God's presence, we know that we're unworthy and we know that our lives fall short of what God intends for us. And so we call to mind our shortcomings and confess our sins. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us. Forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon, and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who have celebrated the Paschal festivities may by your gift hold fast to them in the way that we live our lives. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On our arrival in Rome, Paul was allowed to stay in lodgings of his own with the soldier who guarded him. After three days, he called together the leading Jews. When they had assembled, he said to them, Brothers, although I have done nothing against our people or the customs of our ancestors, I was arrested in Jerusalem and handed over to the Romans. They examined me and would have set me free since they found me guilty of nothing involving the death penalty. But the Jews lodged an objection, and I was forced to appeal to Caesar, and not that I had any accusation to make against my own nation. 
This is why I have asked you to see and talk to you, for it is on account of the hope of Israel that I wear this chain. Paul spent the whole of the two years in his own rented lodging. He welcomed all who came to visit him, proclaiming the kingdom of God and teaching the truth about the Lord Jesus Christ with complete freedom and without hindrance from anyone. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm is, The upright shall see your face, O Lord. The upright shall see your face, O Lord. The Lord is in his holy temple, the Lord whose throne is in heaven. His eyes look down on the world. His gaze tests mortal men. The upright upright shall shall see see your face, face, O Lord. Lord. The Lord tests the just and wicked, the lover of violence he hates. The upright shall see your face, O Lord. The Lord is just and loves justice. The upright shall see his face. The upright upright shall shall see see your face, face, O Lord. Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I will send you the Spirit of truth, says the Lord. He will lead you to the complete truth. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Peter turned and saw the disciple Jesus loved following them. The one who had leaned on his breast at the supper and had said to him, Lord, who is it that will betray you? Seeing him, Peter said to Jesus, What about him, Lord? Jesus answered, if I want him to stay behind till I come, what does it matter to you? You are to follow me. The rumor then went out among the brothers that this disciple would not die, yet Jesus had not said to Peter, he will not die, but if I want him to stay behind Till I come. This disciple is the one who vouches for these things and has written them down, and we know that his testimony is true. There were many other things that Jesus did. If all were written down, the world itself, I suppose would not hold all the books that would have to be written. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. In the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray now to our Heavenly Father. As we hear those words, the last words of the Gospel of St. John the Evangelist, we give thanks to God for our patron saint. And we ask that we may immerse ourselves in his teaching and his example so as to become worthy followers of him and of our blessed Lord. We pray for the mission of our parish, that God will help us to grow in holiness and, if it be his will, in numbers too.
And we pray especially today for our cell of the Shrine of the Holy House of Our Lady of Walsingham. That this may be a means of the deepening of our prayer and commitment to the Lord. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for our world in all its brokenness and need for peace, for justice, for reconciliation. Lord, hear us. We continue to give thanks to God for Her Majesty the Queen, and we pray for her and for the royal family in these days of celebration, and we pray for our nation, for peace, unity, and prosperity among all people. We pray too for those who represent us in public life, that they may be transparent and honest. We pray for all who serve this country, in particular in the National Health Service. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We remember those who've asked us to pray for them, Anne and Mike, Julie, Pauline, Roy, David, Jane, Julia, Cara, Maria Teresa, Derek, Beryl, Sharon, Dorothy, Evie May, Kate, Ian and Alfie. We pray for them, conscious that they may well be participating in this Mass via the internet. We pray for all who care for them. And as we pray for the departed, we pray especially for Claire Day. Rest eternal, grant unto her, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon her. So let us now commend the living and the departed to the gracious intercession of Mary, the mother of the Lord, as we say. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In a moment of silence, let us offer to God our own personal prayers, needs and intentions. Merciful Father, Accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. The risen Christ came and stood among his disciples, and he said to them, Peace be with you. Then they were glad when they saw the risen Lord. The peace of the Lord be always with you. We share with each other a sign of that peace. Peace be with you. Peace with you, Karen. Peace be with you. Peace with you, Stevie. Please sit down for a moment. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, 
for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever, by the mystery of this water and this wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself and shared in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever, with humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sinfulness. Pray, dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the Holy Spirit coming near, we pray, O Lord, prepare our minds for the divine sacrament, since the Spirit himself is the remission of all our sins. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts, of bread and wine may be for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who, in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me.
Christ is the bread of life. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, Lord Jesus, until you come in glory. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice, with praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Remember your servant Claire, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she, who was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection, when, from the earth, he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. Send the Holy Spirit on your people, and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we, in the company of Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with the Apostles, the Martyrs, St John the Evangelist, our patron, and all the saints, may praise and glorify you for ever. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. at the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread, Lamb of God. You take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him that takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed.
the Holy Spirit will glorify me, for he will take from what is mine and declare it to you, says the Lord. Alleluia. Let us pray. Hear in your compassion our prayers, O Lord, that as we have been brought from things of the past to new mysteries, so with former ways left behind, we may be made new in holiness of mind through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now please stand as we dedicate this plinth for the sacrament house. Let us pray. Brothers and sisters, this plinth has been brought forward and it will receive a special blessing in order to indicate that it is to be set aside exclusively for divine worship. Together then, let us pray that God will also strengthen us by his blessing. Let us ask that he who alone is holy may make us holy and worthy, so that we may celebrate the liturgy with reverence and devotion. Blessed are you, O God, who through your Son, the mediator of the New Testament, graciously accept our praise and generously bestow your gifts on us, grant that this plinth for the sacrament house, set aside for the celebration of divine worship and in memory of your sister and our sister, Claire, Grant that it may be a sign of our reverence for you and a help to our faithful service. We ask this through Christ our Lord. 
Amen. The Lord be with you. God the Father, by whose glory Christ was raised from the dead, strengthen you to walk with him in his risen life. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, come down upon you to dwell deep within you this day and forevermore. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.